and the effect our state's low birth rate is having at hospitals like Children's in Minneapolis. Why nurses are probably going to have to pay the price. Next. Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota is laying off nurses. That spokesperson says they haven't decided on an actual number. Nurses say about 70 to 75 nurses could be given pink slips, and they worry patient safety will be jeopardized. The hospital says that cuts are necessary. Like safety is no longer the benchmark. Carol Truesdale has been a nurse for 23 years. She works in the med surgery department at Children's Minneapolis. She says she worries about what the cuts will do to the patients. We are running so profoundly short staffed that safety is significantly compromised. Nurses expect most of the cuts will come from the neonatal, specialty care nursery, med surgery, and float team departments. The hospital says the cuts are coming because they're seeing fewer patients. They say the decrease is due to a variety of factors, most notably a decline in the birth rate. But right now the hospitals are seeing more patients than usual. Our surge on the Minneapolis campus, and I'm sure St. Paul as well, has gone on now for a good two months and we are in the thick of it. A so-called surge is when the hospital sees a high number of patients. Sources tell us that things got so bad a couple of weeks ago that secretaries and housekeepers were asked to help watch patients. The hospital says this isn't true. They gave us a statement saying, quote, at no point have we or would we place a sick child under the supervision of any employee who is not trained as a health care provider. Any reports suggesting that we have done this are inaccurate. If we were talking normal, average daily census right now, we still wouldn't have the staff that we need to take care of the kids. The hospital spokesperson also says that patient safety is always the number one concern for every single employee at Children's. If the price of gas keeps going up as it is now,